I'm really confident that the training and the time you spent <coughs> with these youngsters uh, Desiree was really mind-blowing. I think they deserve it. In accepting this declaration, I want to commit as DECOM, we will read what is here. We will take forward what needs to be taken to different departments and to government general. And at some stage, I hope not at your next uh, training, <coughs> Before that, we will come back with some of the areas. I think you've identified key areas that are challenges in this country. It would be very, very much helpful for me if you can even sponsor some of the solutions. Because that is important. Youth is leading, as you are saying. And maybe some of the things that we we'll theorize about, you would know exactly how to resolve them. I know I'm talking to the youth that tomorrow will not fight over being a counselor. We're talking because, thank you very much. Because you will focus on education, you will focus on being part of the think tank of this country tomorrow, of solving, in fact starting now, of solving most of these challenges. And I think therefore, whether, maybe I must talk to Deco as well, uh, not to just uh, put all the responsibility on Saya. We have that responsibility also of making sure that we reach out to youngsters when they are at school. We put these questions to them so that they can refresh our mind on how we can solve this problem. The biggest challenge, the biggest challenge, I heard people talking about poverty, I heard people talking about uh, lots and lots of things here. The biggest challenge that we still have is integrating our community so that there are no people who are very poor and people who are very hungry. One. The other challenge is what that was being said here. What seemed to be an unequal education 22 years after democracy. An assignment, because now there's one system of education in South Africa. It's no longer <coughs> apartheid education. But still, they are private school, they are model C school, they are public school. And surely, if one is in one of the three, this is where the unequal access to resources and proper education is experienced. We need to find a way of solving that. And you can't allow only the minister or the government. That would not be leading. This is why I'm saying, in between the training courses, maybe we do need to find a way of giving some assignments that would focus on 
solution <coughs> or implementation of a problem. So we don't just talk about declarations that identify challenges, but we're more saying to the Minister of Education, if you do ABC, as young people we know will be part of that and we know you'll solve this problem. Minister of Health, as it was said, if you do ABC, <coughs> in rural areas, if you do ABC, would be able to solve the poverty in rural areas. I think once, for me, once we begin to go there, it means we are not only leading, we are participating fully, whilst we also adding to our skills, I mean about you now, we're adding to our skills so that we are leaders of tomorrow, we are the think tank of this country. For me, I see this group, Desert, being the group that will put all over the world to showcase the talent we have in South Africa. Thank you very much.